we have every vendor doing something else. You have Spark versus Test versus Trill. There's no standardization, and it's very confusing for customers um, which Hadoop distribution is the right one and which technology should I go after. If something is getting really, really complicated, and every year we have another open source project that, um, by the way, has three clones, and you don't know which one you want to go for, and companies basically just getting overwhelmed and will just not go for it because they don't have the resources, the understanding. We saw this with G2E, when things got too complex, people just moved on to the next thing, what was back then Hibernate, right? And that's how companies react. They just way too busy with, the others, with their normal stuff. And then I think um, uh, the Hadoop distribution vendors did a very big mistake trying to make Hadoop like an SQL database. Um, Hadoop is a disruptive new technology. We build it as no SQL and encourage everybody to go into the nudge mailing list and look at the six months of discussion between me and Doc Cutting and a few other people. And by the way, I said, why the hell are we building this new thing? We have MySQL. Let's use MySQL. Why do we do? And Cutting really, um, you know, took a half year to talk me into, into like, hey, Stefan, we do a search engine, we're trying to aggregate data, most of the data in the future is unstructured, and we don't know what analytics we want to do, right? So first I was the devil, but now I'm kind of the priest for the NoSQL, I'm like preaching it everywhere. It's, it's really cool and phenomenal. It took me a while to get, right, that there is benefit in NoSQL. And making Hadoop look like SQL is just basically, again, cutting the ears off of the elephant and going steps back. Because why would you go to a company, or it's confusing to a company, why would I use Hadoop with limited SQL, you know, with um, not being able to do subselects or complex uh, joins, when I have, you know, really cool RDBMS over here that can already do it. And by the way, the pricing, really came down here. So the pricing argument, oh, Hadoop is so much cheaper, doesn't really count anymore with the Hadoop distribution vendors. So we're kind of losing out on the opportunity we get with Hadoop around schema and read, around agility, around no schema, no ETL. And we make it look like SQL just so, you know, everybody that we didn't educate well enough on what Hadoop can really do can understand Hadoop. And we're missing out in the long term by confusing people, by, again, cutting down or cutting back on the innovation, just to kind of make it look like the other stuff that exists since 40 years. So people looking for simplicity, getting stuff done.